What is going on everybody? Jeremy from Start Your Systems. And it is Friday, so that means we're going to be doing another uh, MVA Reflex track review. Um, this week's track is going to be a Supercross. Um, beta Slot 1. We're going to do 6 laps because it's a little bit shorter of a track. And let's get to it. Um, the name of this track is Blizzard SX by T Wizard T. I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, no, obviously there's no snow on it, um, but in the description he said that he tried to make it as realistic as possible, but he doesn't ride in real life, so he doesn't know what's realistic and what's not realistic, um, and right off the bat, as you guys can already see, um, that first section is a very wide open. Now... On a lot of Supercross tracks, the first section is normally a rhythm section, so it, there's some timing involved. Um, and it, with this first section, it's just wide open, ski jump, triple, triple. So I'm not really too sure how I feel about that. Um, and as you guys can already tell, uh, this track is really fast and really small. A lot of these jumps... Are really small and it seems like you're not in the air for very long um, that triple is actually pretty big but then as you guys can see the finish lines oh the finish line is a uh, pretty small and then obviously again really fast first rhythm section I wouldn't even really consider that a rhythm section actually it's just a triple triple easy peasy and then this rhythm section is really inconsistent um, it's really hard to get the triple all the way through. And same with this one right here. I don't know if it's possible to triple all the way through, actually. I have not done it yet, so. And then again, with this rhythm section, pretty inconsistent. But the rhythm section that I just got through, I think, is the, the one that's built the best on this entire track. Um, I don't know. It, it seems the best built to me. And see how small that finish line is. I still overshot it, and I wasn't even going that quick. And again, triple, triple. Really easy, really fast. And then if you do get the get a good drive right there, you can quad like I just did. Actually, that's the best that I've ever hit that. I actually kind of downsided that inside line there. And then I'm going to case that triple. Kind of soak it up the best I can. Oh boy, I'm not even going to go for that triple. That triple in the middle of the rhythm section is really tough if you don't get that dragon spec just right, so. And those whoops aren't actually that bad. They're uh, they're pretty good. Uh, they're a little big, but uh, that's all good. And a 52 -00. oh that's actually the best lap I've ever ran on the track. Uh, same as last week, I ran one race on the track just to get a feel for it. And I ran like a 52.4 or something like that. And again, I, I cased that quad a little bit, and then you see it's just kind of downhill from there. Um, this inside line I don't really like because you can't really do anything with it. Uh, it's just kind of blitzing the rhythm section if you don't get that like wheel tap just right. As you guys can see, I didn't get it right, so... And I still have yet to get that triple in the middle of that rhythm section. Um, this outside and the next outside are pretty much useless. I mean, I know I drifted kind of wide right there. But uh, you can cut those insides and be just fine. Because obviously, like I said, this finish line is really small. And if you get a good drive for that big super cross triple, you're fine either way. Uh, let's take this inside. Uh, I kind of kind of screwed that up. So pretty much no rhythm. Casing that triple out. So I'd say that the outsides in these 180s are probably your best bet. Um, and then on those 90 degree corners, um, 
the best bet would to be just cut to the inside. There we go. I finally got that triple. Um, just barely, but still got it. That's actually the first time that I doubled it. Oh, oh boy. Doubled into the, those three sand rollers. Yeah, I just took those outsides, and they're pretty slow. Uh, we're on our last lap now, and once again, just triple, triple. Oh, boy. Triple, and then... We, oh, that kind of worked, actually. Uh, but, yeah, just kind of triples all the way through if you can. And try to get over that triple. It's a pretty difficult triple because, like I said, th these rhythm sections are really inconsistent. Um, they're built really small, and you got to go really fast to hit them right. Um, and like I said last week, I, I really like the supercross tracks that y you actually have to have timing on. Uh, last week's track review track was a great example of having timing through the rhythm sections. Um, so overall, this isn't a bad track. It, it's a pretty easy track. Uh, you, those rhythm sections just can be pretty tricky with how fast you need to be going and how uh, perfect you need to clear the jumps to get those triples in the middle of the rhythm sections. Um, I would have liked to see the track if it was a little bit more technical and, you know, more timing involved. Um, but like I said, it's not a terrible track. It's probably not one that I'd play again. Um, I know the track creator, T Wizard T, has a couple other tracks. I have. I don't think I've played any of his tracks um, other than this one. Um, if I had to rate it on a scale of ten, I'd probably give it like a five or a six. Um, you know, if there was more timing involved, maybe that would have been a higher rating, but. Um, I don't know. I give credit to uh, all the track makers, no matter what game it is, because I personally, I can't make tracks. Um, I don't know how time-consuming it is and how difficult it actually can be. So, props to all the creators, no matter how bad the track is or how fun the track is. Um, I still enjoy trying them out and, you know... Um, trying to find the hidden gems, if you will, of, of Reflex. So, that's going to do it for the video, guys. Um, I will leave the track link in the description below. Um, if you liked the video, you know, give it a thumbs up. Uh, comment on the video. Let me know what you think if you played this track already. And, uh, you know, as always, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I will see you guys next week for the Reflex track review. See you later.